Hardy Colley. I was born on July 26, 1927, the year of the Great Flood, the same day as St. Anne, that is the day of her feast day. I am the youngest of 12 children, and we were a cool bunch. I am a mom of four, have many grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. I begin with something that I remember about my mom. My mother, Adelaide Blasier, Pelafake Hardy, beloved, doesn't begin to say it. Mornings we faced the rising sun and said the morning offering to God. We were 12 in the family, so prayer was said by groups as we read it for school or work. Mama worked hard with a gentle air, helping each of us as needed. Big meals were served by Mama and Tot, an aunt who lived with us, while Papa worked. After school, we were welcomed with a smell of fresh homemade baked bread, fresh cream and sugar. Our home had beautiful holy pictures and Catholic magazines throughout. Sunday and weekday masses were our mainstay because God was made real to us by her example. I remember her small parterre of a little flower garden that smelled of jasmine, soft pink roses, trailing over the old barbed wire fence, a grapevine, wisteria, a peach tree, and unkempt grass. Today I remember Mama and the blue moonlight as we sat there, watched fire flowers, and sang together. My mother always found ways to entertain the grandchildren <clears throat> when they visited. After our old house was flooded in 1927, the floorboards constricted. The planks were left with big cracks between each. When we looked down at this floor, we could see the chickens, the cats, and the dogs walk past. Mama gave each child a small can of corn kernels to drop the corn through the cracks and feed the chickens. The grandchildren loved it. Jean et Joyeux, Joyeux, young and happy. An outside bathroom seven by seven feet was part of our little back porch. To enter it, you had to walk outside on the porch in a little outside hallway. That bathroom was made of rough boards and annexed to the house as an afterthought or as the means provided. Well, if I were ever asked what part of the house left the biggest, best impression, I would have to say it was that bathroom. The reason for the big impression was that in the left back corner was a beautiful white French provincial bathtub with elevated claw feet. That was my claim to fame. On two opposite walls were two full length shelves. The outside wall was a small window with two small panes side by side. They could be pushed to open somewhat like a sliding door. This small pane window had no screens and was kept open during the spring and summer. Eventually three or four chickens gained access to the bathroom. Mama ever practical place straw in small boxes on the shelves so they could lay their eggs. Sometimes while I was bathing and all was quiet, a hen clucked real loud, continued her shrill clucking and ruffled her feathers. Other times a rooster stood on that windowsill and crowed. <coughs> Mama also stored tied stalks of tidocero, which are mulberry stalks, hung upside down here for our winter supply of tea, an occasional mushamiel, a honeybee, buzzed around. In the old summertime, all was well, and I was happy in that home. One window pane in that old home in, the ki in our kitchen gave me countless hours of fun and entertainment. I looked throughout one handmade pane in particular, because it was wavy, had ripples, and it looked like beveled glass. This window pane faced the railroad track, which was about two football fields away. When I watched through the pane, my eyes moved a certain way, up and down or side to side, and the trucks of the, or the old model T's seemed to jump the track. Sometimes while looking through the pane, a dog walked by, and I saw half of it advanced, then with a slight movement of my eye, the wavy pane 
It was brought forward in slow motion and delay the walking of the second half. I could make the dog go forward or backward. My brothers and sisters and I watched the chickens, have the chicken walk through the ripple pane, and the other half followed. Parts of this glass acted like a prism because at times I saw rainbows of various colors. Parts of glass were cut so that at other times I could see three chickens instead of one as it wa walked sure-footed in the yard. To be sure, it was a wonder pain, and my brothers and sisters still laugh about it like we were still jeune and full of joie de vie filled our homes. Listening to Confetti Park, brought to you by confettipark.com.